give you a little bit of insight on that because um child we've been having some technical difficulties okay but i believe i'm a believer so i'm gonna believe that i am supposed to push through these okay and i'm gonna make it do what it do baby um i guess tonight miss kayla joy i know that you all were expecting her she's unable to make it here with us tonight as well so it's all tons of types of things happening but let me tell you something i'm gonna push through and I'm encouraging you to push through as well, okay? It is the word today. It's a word today, baby. You better catch this word, okay? You already know. Again, it's your girl, Lady CEO. You are tuned in to Talk of the Streets Entertainment, y'all. I welcome you here tonight on, on, on this beautiful Monday night, y'all. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time we drop a video when it want to work. But in the meantime, in between time, check us out on Talk of the Streets. Talk of the Streets with a Z dot net, y'all. Also, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Talk of the Streets Entertainment, all with a Z. Don't forget that Z. Any updates that you hear, um, any promo or advertisements that I shout out here tonight, you can find them on our web pages as well, okay? So, listen, in terms of the 804 News, baby. Okay, so the 804 News, I want to shout out the business of the block. Not the business owner of the block, but the business of the block, okay? So in our business of the block, we are shouting out the Petersburg Independent Filmmakers, all right? So they are having an open house on Friday, August the 25th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m., okay? And um, they are calling all aspiring writers, actors, directors, editors, mixed media artists and more they want you to join them to register for a position in their new movie called an ordinary day a ordinary day y'all they will be at the virginia community resource center at 22 west washington street in petersburg okay so shout out to petersburg petersburg is really doing their thing they are really doing their thing out there in petersburg do not hold the phone on petersburg they will shock you okay um, and secondly, coming up in this 804 news update, I'm going to shout out the 20th anniversary, the 20th annual Happily Natural Day. And it's dedicated to holistic health, African culture, identity, and social change. All right. Music vendors, good food, guest speakers, and workshops. This is a free admission, and this is happening on Saturday, August the 26th. Okay. So the Petersburg Independent Filmmakers event is happening. Friday, August 25th, and the 20th annual Happily, Happily Natural Day is happening on August the 26th. That's that Saturday. It's both of these are free admissions, you know. Um, and so the annual Happily Natural Day, I don't know why that's so difficult for me to get it out, but I did push through, push through. 
it is going to be located at 2222 Y Street, okay, here in Richmond, Virginia. That's in the 5th District Mini Farm area, okay? So, shout out to both of these organizations. You are doing big things, okay? And it's an honor to have you here in the 804 News Update, okay? So, listen. This is the pre-show for Comcast 95 Verizon 36. I've already did the pre-show on YouTube, so if you want to catch it before time in the meantime, then make sure you do so again by subscribing to our YouTube channel, all right, and hitting that notification bell. But tonight, we are going to get into some things here, y'all. Listen, um, as you know, as I mentioned before, um, our guest, Kayla, Kayla Joy is unable to make it here with us tonight, but we're going to carry on. We're going to carry on. So, remote is stay connected, again, by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified at, of our pre-show at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and here on Comcast 95 or Verizon 36. Shout out to the Public Access Channel for having us here tonight because, listen, okay, listen, before we get started, I want to shout out a few sponsors and things, okay? So, free services that you can take advantage of. You can visit www zavidmorgan.com or email me right aka the purpose push at purpose pushing ministries at gmail.com if you need support with finding out if you're eligible for any social services um, i can assist you with that you can also find help to apply or find additional resources to help your family through tough times okay now in terms of business resources we have some free business resources starting uh, to, for starting a business, you can also find those at zavidmorgan.com, y'all. All sponsored through my ministry at the Purpose Pusher Ministries, okay? So, next. Also, be sure to check out my book, my book, Profit and Your Purpose. And if it ain't purpose, it ain't working. That's new. That, that, that's the new phrase here, okay? Dropping the mic. If it's not purpose, if it ain't purpose, it ain't, work, it ain't working, okay? This book, my book, Profit and Your Purpose, provides you seven steps to understand how what challenges in your life could actually, put, how the challenges in your life could actually provide you the tools to profit in life, okay? So you got to dive deeper and learn more about purchasing the book. You can also find that book at zavidmorgan.com, y'all. It's also on, on Amazon. Support your girl. Empower your life. All right. Next. So professional business services. Okay. I'm here. I'm talking to you on Talk of the Streets Entertainment. Okay. Tonight as your host. All right. But I am also looking for interns. I'm looking for interns that want to get to know this business. That want to, you know, experience what it's like to, uh, you know, be in, in, in digital media. I am looking for interns. I'm looking for interns. Make sure that you stay connected so you can get more of that information. But in the meantime, in between time, um, if you are in need of human resource support, human resource software, um, you know, human resource onboarding, like uh, free business templates, and, you know, they're available on WeMeanBusiness.com. We mean business now.com. Okay, you can download any of the human resource documents that you need, they are accessible to you again on we mean business.com. If you're an independent contractor or an employee with one to five, with one, uh, I'm sorry, if you are a, an employer with one to five employees, then we mean business.com is definitely for you. And also, I want to share a resource with you from the VS, VSU Center of Entrepreneurship, okay? Um, the small, my, the minority, small business launch center. <laughs> the minority small business launch center is open for Virginia startups, y'all. Listen, they offer technical assistance, access to co-working space, networking events, and entrepreneurship certifications. And to become a member and learn more, I want you to visit the small, I'm sorry, the Minority Small Business Launch Center. Again, any of the information that I give you and the, the links are located on our pages, all right? That's Talk of the Street Entertainment or Talk of the Streets TV, all right? Next up, I want to show off Appomattox Event Center. That is Central VA's premier venue, creating a luxury, all-inclusive event experience at competitive pricing located at 9 West Old Street, Suite 100. That's also in Petersburg, Virginia. You can find out more information by searching AppomattoxEventCenter.com. That's AppomattoxEventCenter.com. Uh, next up is Joshi Kids Youth Academy. 
uh, Yoshi Kids, you already know, I've been working with uh, Yoshi Kids for a few years now, and my daughter has been dancing with Yoshi Kids uh, for years as well, okay? Um, since she, she was about six or seven years old, we had Yoshi last week as a guest here on Talk of the Streets. Um, and so I definitely want to make sure that if you have a child that is between the ages of 5 and 12 and they're interested in performing arts, this is the organization for you. Okay, we're also, well, well the registration is closed now, but um, stay connected because the next summer camp, we're definitely going to be looking for more youth, right, um, teams to come and assist us with the program. So. Yoshi Kids Youth Academy is the home of Saturday Camp for Kids, all right, ages 5 to 12. Yoshi Kids focuses on confidence, youth entrepreneurship, social development, tutoring, and academics, of course, and of course, performing arts, okay? So if you want to learn more, you can visit YoshiKidsAcademy.org and find the resources and links, all right, as, again, are pending on our social sites, okay? Listen. Can we show you off? All right. This is the Talk of the Streets. Talk of the Streets with a Z. And if you have a product, program, project, or service you want to share with the community, do so. We want to show you off. Our local business owners, our artists, community leaders, we are here for you. Okay. Connect with me at talkofthestreets.net. Um, so, so we can discuss your advertisement placements or schedule your interview on Talk of the Streets Entertainment. You can visit talkofthestreets.net for more information and ways to support our growing network. You can also email us at talkofthestreetstv. That's talkofthestreets with a ZTV at gmail.com. All right, so now let's get started. All right, so I want to make sure that tonight, um, since we have to you know, kind of rearrange the show tonight, right? I want to make sure that we have some serious conversations um, as it pertains to life and career, right? I know, you know, the pandemic has been about three years ago, of course, um, you know, but some, some of our people are still suffering from that event, right? Um, some of our people have yet to regain their their composure right get their flow back um, from that from from that episode and so you know it's important to me it's important to me to be a vessel of the divine to come and just you know support individuals and anything that you may need to get you going again so you know I, I provide a lot of life and career services in that way um, you know, I'm answering any questions that you may have tonight as it pertains to life and career. Be sure if you have a question to call, call in at 804-646-7172. That's 804-646-7172. Okay. So, you know, in terms of um, just gaining stability back in your life, one of my missions, well, my overall mission um, as it stands is to help individuals especially my, my um black and brown people to break chains and build wealth right and a lot of the times folks don't completely understand what it mean what i mean by when i say break chains and build wealth um but breaking that breaking chains part what it means is to break the mental chains the physical chains right the spiritual chains even the emotional chains that sometimes bind us up so bad that it's hard for us to rise above. It's hard for us to overcome our challenges. It's hard for us to, you know, see past what may be currently going on in our lives and into our futures. And so, you know, my book, Profit and Your Purpose, talks a lot about those things, right? It gives you seven steps to understand how what you went through in life could definitely provide you the tools to excel in life okay and where that comes from is you know anything that you have over overcame in your life if you went through some challenges you had some trauma with some things going on and you know you live to see another day right um if you you know you may not be where you want to be, but you're better than you were before. If you can relate to any of those stories, then you have, you have the tools 
okay you have the tools to maybe teach someone else how to get through it um you know create a solution for someone else who may have the same type of problem you you know you grew through you now have the tools so you know in, in terms of breaking those chains though um oftentimes we cannot see our tools oftentimes we cannot get to even the first goal towards success because of what is blocking us and we find ourselves going around and around in this circle and we keep hitting the same brick wall because we may not have learned the lesson that was there for us right to absorb and so it's important and i talk about this in my book where it's important to analyze where you are analyze where you've been where you've been um who all was involved right and give your adversity a name right were you suffering through anxiety were you suffering through depression was it abandonment um did did, what, did you have fear what what was going on right what, what was and also thank you Holy spirit what was your part in what was going on you know and it's not to say that you know you brought some things we don't bring on ourselves but some things we do spend too much time in the moment right we spend too much time with it we allow this person to um hurt us too long we kept repeating the same cycle too long and it and it may not have been anything that you you may have not consciously done it you know but you were involved so it's also important to understand what part you played in it but in order to break the chain you have to understand what type of chain it is so you have to give those things a name right so once you break those chains once you understand what what was holding you back once you understand what your challenges were once you understand those things you can now see a little bit better into where you want to go from here what you desire to build in your life you got to understand that you were here on for a purpose you are created for a reason and a lot of the things right I, this is one of my favorite saying um pressure builds diamonds right because if you never go through anything if you never go through anything then you won't develop any muscle you won't have a testimony you you won't have a story to tell and it, and, and 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 I know, you know, it's like, well, you gotta. I, I heard something before when it was like, you know, um, a person, you know, sometimes people in a higher position or who have fought to get on a higher playing field, they they look at you and you know, if you've excelled or you get into this type of position, they say, well, you haven't went through enough. Nobody is saying that it's any type of levels to what you have to go through in order to be success successful. That's not it, because everybody's story is different. Right, life is situational. What I'm saying is, you have to change your perspective about the things that you have went through, that you've gone through, and look at them as things that you can grow through. Come on, that's a word for somebody. That's a word for somebody right there. You you have to look at these things as things that you can grow through. So in order to do that, well, when you do that, you break chains, and when you break those chains, you move into building wealth. And in my book, I give you exercises, right? There are workbook exercises. If, if you pay attention to me online at any time, then you would know that. <laughs> then you would definitely know that I love giving homework. I'm all about, you know, creating situations where you have to take what we've been talking about. Take it with you. Take it to God. Sit in your quiet place. Meditate on it. And, you know, just refocus. Um, I'm all about that. Um, because you know I only got half of the story I joke sometimes and say I could have the full story if I asked God for it but you know I only got half of the story and so I, I, I like having half of the story majority of the time because the individual that I'm talking to meaning the viewers that we have here tonight I'm talking to you and I'm giving you some jewels I hope that you're picking them up but at the same time, you know, I only want to give you half of the story so it will be intentional for you to go in your quiet space and, and talk to God. Whatever you call God, right? God has many names. I'm talking about the most high God, the creator of the universe. Whatever you call it is what you call it. That's collective consciousness. But you, you want to make sure that you have a relationship with the creator. 
so that the information that you are receiving, you can take it back, you can meditate on it, you can reflect in your quiet place, you can do whatever you need to do to ensure that you break those mental, physical, emotional, and even sometimes spiritual chains so you can see into your future. Okay? So, you know, in terms of different things in life that through your way, you know, I can relate on several different different levels, okay? Um, okay, Holy Spirit, listen, because we're here tonight and we got the time. Um, I, I come from a time, I come from a time where, you know, I grew up in a single parent household. Um, it's the talk of the streets for real tonight, y'all. Listen, you got any questions? Um, you want to shout anybody out for being a vessel in your life, someone that you can lean on, make sure that you call me at 804-646-7172, 804-646-7172. Again, I have pinned resources on my social media. You can check them out if you need some assistance for applying for social um, you know, services. You want to see what you, are, what, you, what you are eligible for, make sure you connect with me at zavidmorgan.com. Um, but you know, I grew up in a time where in a single parent household, it was just my mom. Um, I have a younger brother. Um, he's three years younger than me. If you know my age, then you know my age. I'm not going to tell you today, or at least I don't feel moved to. Um, but times were hard. Um, we had some great times and we had some, some very difficult times, you know. Um, and being the oldest of the family... Um, I took on a lot of responsibility. Um, and with that responsibility, it, it, it allowed me to mature a lot faster than I, than I wanted to. Um, and of course, you don't know this at the time, but when you look back, after so much time has passed and you look back, it's like, dang, man, like life really went fast for me. Um, you know... You just start to reflect on that. And so, like I said, it was a single parent household. household um, just me, my mom, and my brother. And the funny thing is, before, let me back up a little bit. Before I started, I started living with my mom again when I was about seven years old. Um, before then, I was living with my grandfather. My grandfather and my grandmother raised me from a baby. Um, my grandmother passed away when I was about two years old, and my grandfather, shout out to Papa, if you know, if you're looking at me, you know me, you know Papa, um, uh, Papa is Papa, Papa was everybody's Papa, and you know, um, he was working at Universal Leaf Tobacco Company, and at Universal Leaf Tobacco Company, uh, while he was working, my great grandmother was, watched me a lot, um, my phone. Um, my great grandmother watched me a lot, and you know she wasn't necessarily the nicest person in the room, um, but I loved her, right? And and I and I loved her hard. And in that environment, I learned how to love. I learned how you know I had a lot of my uncles that were there for me, and you know I experienced I'm the, I'm the baby girl so I had an, a good experience but it still was you know like I said I wasn't living with my mom but when I did start living with my mom you know I got to see a lot more of the world um, again that single parent household um, I had to you know be the one that took care of my brother um, you know uh, often time my mom was sick you know uh, at, a, at a certain point we were, when we were growing up and then I had to stay with um, neighbors. And um, during this time period when she was in the hospital. Um, and so, you know, that was difficult as well. And I, I, I remember this one time. My mom was um, this sick that one time um, we were getting ready. I stayed at a friend of ours, a um, friend of hers. They had children. House the night before. It was a, it was a Saturday. And it was so much going on. It was a bunch of toxicity toxicity going on at my home and so I kind of what you would say ran away but not really she knew where I was but the lady that I called her my aunt and her daughters my cousins um at the time it was so much going on that even the lady said you know no she not she's staying here don't worry about it get your stuff together I remember that vaguely so the next morning we were going to church and I had to go home and get something <laughs> I 
I don't even remember what it was and I don't think that I'm supposed to remember what it was. I just was supposed to remember the point, like what happened. So I went into the house. The house was dark. You know, my mom, she, she used to go through a lot of things, um, depression, anxiety. And so she used to put black bags at the window. Um, and so the house was dark. It was early in the morning. The house was dark. And I went in there to get something. And as I, will, as I was leaving, um, she was like, where you going? No, you ain't going nowhere. And everything in me, because I wasn't necessarily a bad child. So I didn't want to disobey my mother. But it was something moving me in my spirit to, girl, you got to make a decision. So the church van was waiting for me, child. And I ran in the house to get something. And when I was leaving, she like, you, where you going? You ain't going nowhere. And I stopped and I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, y'all, because I was like, if I, I mean, I don't want to disobey my mama. A lot of things was running through my head. Child, but when I say this was subconsciously happening to me, and I was like, it's, I mean, she's telling me not, go, not to go to church. Like, I want to go to church. I have to go to church. And everything, I hauled and got on that, got on that church, man, with the church, had a beautiful Sunday. Um, you know, and it was... It was nothing, you know, the funny thing about that is, the interesting thing about that, rather, it, it, it was nothing necessarily that, that I needed to do in the house. She didn't want to do anything with me. So if I would have stayed in that home, then I just would have been in that environment. You feel me? Like that, that, that depression and that um, anxiety and however she felt about me not coming home that night, you know. Um, but I went to church. I ran to God. And God had, from then, I, I didn't know the significance the, of, of God in my life then. But as I got older, like my late teens, I, it, I started reflecting on certain moments like that. And I started to realize, like, hey, God been with me the whole time. What are you talking about? What are you talking about God been with me the whole time? Um, you know, but again, it's just like the story of, you know, how they say that, you have God, God has this, this rope connected to you. You're holding on to the rope. And your free will allows you to go experience life. But, you know, God never, never completely lets that rope go unless you want it to. And I just thank God that um, any time that I was conscious enough to be like, okay, God, I need to get closer to you. It was no problem for the spirit to reel me back in and give me that comfort. Um, a lot of you, if you're just tuning in. I'm um, just giving you a little bit of backstory on myself. I didn't know that this was going to turn into this tonight, but I'm here to talk about whatever it is um, God lays on my heart because talk of the streets entertainment belongs to God. It doesn't belong to me. And, um, you know, things have not been going as planned, um, technical difficulties and all. However, I'm rolling with the flow, baby. Whatever God got me here to do, that's what I'm doing here tonight. Um, I'm, I'm sure, I guess I'm showing myself off, y'all. I'm the interview. I'm the interview tonight, so if you have any questions for me, again, make sure that you call in at 804-646-7172. That's 804-646-7172. Um, who, who am I? I am Zavi D. Morgan, y'all, um, the leader of a growing conglomerate, which is called Business Now Incorporated. And that is a multi, I am also a multi-industry CEO founder that manages four, not, four, four, for-profit companies um, involving business services, home health, entertainment, digital media, and one nonprofit organization that improves minority communities economically and socially. Okay, um, I also sit on the committee chair of, of uh, youth as a youth entrepreneurship director for Yoshi Kids Youth Academy. Okay, I always talk about Yoshi Kids, and you know that's one of the reasons why I don't. I am not a part of anything I don't believe in. I am not a part of anything that's not purposed you know um if it ain't purpose it ain't working period i am the purpose pusher okay um and so that's that's one of the things that i do so uh, i am also a part-time staff member um of the metropolitan business league um operating in membership um in this in their city point innovation center um you know, which is another business resource for small businesses. If you want to check them out, you can check them out at dmbl.org. That's dmbl.org. Um, not only that, you know, my business is a member as well, and they have so many great resources for small businesses or people trying to start a business. Um, you know, I, I'm located in the Petersburg office. Um, 
I, I am also about to start a contract part-time at the VSU School of Business and the VSU Center for Entrepreneurship as a um, part-time program coordinator, business consultant, and strategic task manager of that department. Um, so shout out to Dr. Perry Rivers um, and everyone over there, all of my partners, um, of, um, uh, over there, my soon-to-be partners. is already in the works, but I'm now over there until September of the uh, VSU School of Business. And on a weekly basis, I wear these hats above, that I just told you about, okay? And I support other entrepreneurs and small businesses with my skills, which simultaneously helps to increase self-determination, productivity, and the profitability of the individuals and organizations that I serve, okay? But my overall mission um, in every hat that I wear is to, again, break chains and build wealth. So, uh, you know, the legacy that I will leave behind is the foundation for my people to prosper in their lives and career. Um, I will leave behind broken chains and generational wealth for both my family and the communities that I serve. I will leave behind a, a photo environment and to thrive in and create a, a created blueprint for them to follow with the spirit of innovation for them to do whatever it is they love to do or what has never been done before. Um, and so that's just a little bit of what I do you know, professionally. Um, again, so if you need any type of resources, any type of support for your small business or whether I can provide the service or not, I definitely can connect you with the resource, the business, um, the organization that I know, like, and trust that will be able to help you um, in, in terms of your, your small business um, or nonprofit goals, okay? So, y'all, um, it's just an honor. It's an honor to be here tonight. Um, it's an honor to just sit before you. I hope that you that are tuning in to this channel, um, you are, you know, you just push through whatever it is you're going through because you're looking at a, you are looking at a young lady who has overcome homelessness, who has overcome depression, who has overcome um, what, joblessness. Come on, Holy Spirit, take it out, take it out of my vocabulary. What it, what is it? P poverty, adversity, um, domestic violence, you name it, baby. And if, it, if I had a list, I, I didn't come prepared with it on the card. So I can't, I, I can't regurgitate it because I don't speak those things into my life. But you are looking at someone who has overcome so many things. And, you know, it, and it was at the height of my career. Everything I've done, I, I've done it out of my pocket. And as I've matured in business, I realized that that's not necessarily the brag. You want to be able to use other people's money. But coming from where I come from, I grew up in Churchill. Y'all, I grew up in the east end of Virginia, of Richmond, y'all, from city to county, city to county, city to county. Um, but, you know, um, I'm from Church Hill here in Richmond, Virginia. So coming from where I come from and to be able to say that everything that you've seen me do, every every event that I have produced, even the RBA award show, which I'm going to bring you some information about that um, in the next couple of weeks. But from the RBA award show to any type of vending events, um, Talk of the Streets and Entertainment, this is our fifth year, fifth, fifth or sixth, I can't remember right now, but this is our fifth year in production. Um, we started here. Actually, shout out to Bully Boy. Shout out to Bully Boy Productions because we actually started on um, in Bully Boy's studio, okay, when he was over there off of Hull Street. That's where our very first show was okay we have so much content so many pictures that you can find on social media you can just check it out um just about i've interviewed just about anybody everybody here in richmond virginia um you know who who, who has a purpose who has purpose to do some things from artists to business owners to community leaders okay you know lady ceo i always want to show you all that's my thing i don't care what umbrella is under whatever the case may be but you know it's just been an honor to be here um it's been an honor to be here out in these streets like i'm like i said coming from where i come from um to do what i've done out of my pocket i've had i have had some trials and tribulations y'all um you know and I, I kept going i kept fighting you know I've had some embarrassments, and I'm like, how am I supposed to recover from this? Child, listen, you got to push through. And I'm, I'm saying all of these things to let you all know that, you know, those of you know who may be viewing tonight, 
that I'm human, you know, like I'm human too. Even this opportunity to be sitting here tonight, it's all about something that I took the initiative to do myself, to accomplish myself, to, you know, see how I can be a part of it, see how I can utilize this and to my broadcasting goals. And so if you got a message, you got a purpose, you know, you got a reason to be, walk in that thing. And if you're not completely sure about what it is you're supposed to do in your life, then make sure you connect with the most high. That's why it's important to have that relationship. But first, y'all, you got to break those chains. You have to break the spirit of fear. You have to. You have to overcome it. You have to overcome that anxiety. You have to overcome that imposter syndrome. Keep giving it to the Holy Spirit. You have to overcome the why me. Okay? And if, even if people have you know, de try to devalue you or don't see the value in you. No worries, baby. You got to learn how to take the meat and leave the bones in every situation. Pick up what you need to pick up and leave the things that you don't and carry on to the next part of your life because it's always going to be something, some type of tool for you to absorb in those challenging situations, y'all. I'm telling you. I am telling you. When I learned how to... When I learned how to change my perspective about the challenging moments or the people that I wanted to, you know, when I learned how to change my perspective about those things, that's when I got the most out of every situation in my life. Out of every situation in my life. It stopped being, why is this happening to me? And, it, and, and you know, and it's in a, in a negative perspective. It stopped being like that. And I started asking myself in the moments, like God, you know, asking God, I'm like, what is it that I'm supposed to learn? Like, what, what am I supposed to gain from this situation? Lord, how do you want me to move in this moment? You know, I thought X, Y, and Z was supposed to be the ride or that. I, you know what I mean? God, I, I, I believe that, you know, I, did I hear you well? You told me to go forth and do this. Because sometimes, child, you be out there looking crazy in these worldly streets because God done told you something. But the other person on the other end of the blessing, baby, ain't doing what they supposed to do. So sometimes you be out here looking crazy. But that's where your faith come in at. Because, listen, it's always a learning. It's always a learning technique, that you get, learning tool that you got to pick up. So it's like, God, what is it that you want me to learn from this? If it's not working out in your favor, God, what am I supposed to absorb from this, right? Sometimes it's simple as, are you going to keep going? If, if you, you plan to do this thing here, you know, everybody has free will. So somebody on your assignment, God, and told you to have a conversation with this person, this is supposed to happen, you know, because of the conversation that y'all having, or you're supposed to be in this type of environment, and they're supposed to treat you like this, or you're supposed to receive this type of benefit. And if these things don't happen for you, you have to learn how to change your perspective in it. And what, what, is, what did this situation teach you then if it didn't give you anything? What type of resources are before you so you can still util, um, get, utilize the, the, the resources even if nobody g g gave it to you? What, did, what, what is the situation teaching you in the moment, right? That is most important. That's most important. And that's how you get the best out of any situation that's how you overcome that's how i got to where i am today child and i ain't gonna sit right here and act like i ain't want to give up sometimes because i did let me look at every camera i did <laughs> i did i cried myself to sleep at night um i asked god why i i most sometimes in certain situations where god told me to go or leave that person or uh, this ain't gonna turn out the way that we previously previously discussed. I cried, I kicked, I hollered, I fussed, but I ain't stay there long. Come on, come on. Ty Trigger said, "Only one night, though." You understand what I'm saying? Only one night, though. You cry, make sure that you cry. Only one night, though, and you know because I, I just knew it. I got to a certain, I had, I, I reached a certain point in my relationship with the Most High where I was like, I know I didn't come this far for you to leave me. I know I didn't come this far for you to leave me. And once I put my pride to the side and my stubbornness over there and, and really understood that all things happen, <laughs> all things happen for my good, then it was, I, I'll be foolish. Not to express myself because I've been let down or my feelings are hurt. But still identify the situation and see what God tried, has showed to me in that situation and move past it. 
and I had to learn how to forgive really quickly. I had, I had to learn that a lot of people out here who do you wrong or a lot of situations that don't go your way, um, you know, it's a learning, it's a learning curve, right? But at the same time, our, 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 our battle is not with the flesh, right? It's in the spirit. And so a lot of people, um, people in particular, um, it's not them per se. It's just the spirit that they're dealing with. And unfortunately, your challenge in that moment and your assignment in that moment is to deal with that. And at the same time, it could be showing you something within yourself or teaching you something to take along to the next level. So pick those tools up and go forth. Pick those tools up and go forth. Okay? It's 100% important. 100% important. 100% important, y'all. <laughs> so, um, you know, again, you can find out more about me. You can purchase my book, Profit, Profiting Your Purpose, at ZaviDMorgan.com. That's ZaviDMorgan.com, y'all. Um, make sure if you, again, if you have a product, program, or service, or even project that you want to show off, I want to show you off, too. Make sure that you hit me up. Book your interview at TalkOfTheStreets.net. That's talkofthestreets.net, y'all. Okay? Um, next week, we are going to have two special guests um, that attend here with us. Um, if not, if we don't have those special guests, you already know. I'm going to let God just go for it. I'm going to let God go for it. Okay? I'm going to have the space. I have the room. Again, if you have any questions for me, you can call me up. 804-646-7172. That's 804-646-7172. Um, I am Zavi D. Morgan. I'm a holistic life and business coach, if you're just tuning in. And my mission is to go out here in these streets and help people, again, break chains, build wealth. Um, I am here to increase self-determination, productivity, and profitability in minority communities um, around the world. And so everything that I'm doing here in Virginia, my goal is to do this in minority communities around the world. If you ask me, everybody needs a zombie. And even if I'm not, I'm not for everybody. But those that I'm for, those bodies need a zombie. <laughs> Bars. You understand what I'm saying? First of all, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get on rapidly. Shout out to uh, shout out to Radio B and friends. Okay, because you can catch me. At one of these rapidly um, events, I'm going to be on stage and I'm going to be dropping. I'm going to drop some bars and stuff. Because, you know, I got those bars. Hot fire. Hot fire. <laughs> hey, hot fire out here in these streets, y'all. So, listen, y'all. Um, again, I just wanted to thank you uh, for tuning in here tonight on Talk of the Streets Entertainment. That's Talk of the Streets with a Z, y'all. Um, make sure that you tune in to, uh, I'm sorry, Monday nights. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube Live. All right. YouTube Live. And at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Comcast 95 or Verizon 36. For your free resources, make sure that you check out ZaviDMorgan.com. You can also check out Talk of the Streets. That's Talk of the Streets with a Z, y'all. TalkoftheStreets.net. For all of the resources that I talked about here tonight. Again, last but not least, I want to make sure that I shout out uh, Mr. Joe Taylor. Here with the Richmond Community Access Network. Um, Richmond, I'm sorry, here with the Richmond Community Access Network for their dedicated service to providing a platform for talk shows like mine. And to occupy space and reach viewers like you. Shout out to the other creatives on this network. And I wish you all... Uh, well and um, great work this thus far. All right, this channel is live. All right, here on Comcast 95 and Verizon 36 with community leaders and local information with small breaks in, in between. So stay connected for a show, event, or special cause near you. Again, I am Zavi D. Morgan here with Street Talk of the Week, y'all. The lady CEO, aka. The Purpose Pusher. Peace, y'all.